All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So we are up to episode eight of The Last of Us. We have one episode left after this. We are literally at the end. Next week is the final episode. So this week, um, this week's episode featured David and the Cannibals. Great part of the game, as we as uh, we all know. And it's just strange to me that. Next week's episode is the last episode, and it's only going to be 40 minutes, I think. This episode was titled When We Are in Need, by the way. But it's very strange because when you play the game, and yes, listen, I'm never going to get away from like comparing this show to the game. I'm a gamer, right? So jumping from this part where you, I guess, leave the resort and, uh, you know, after, you know, Ellie kills David and stuff like that, there are a lot of things that, a decent amount of things that happen between. Then and when you get up to the hospital. So I'm just like, clearly a lot of stuff is not going to be shown because it's like, bro, that episode is 40 minutes. It's only 40 minutes long, if I'm not mistaken, bro. I feel like 30 minutes of that episode should at least be just Joel killing everybody in that hospital. I feel like that should be 30 minutes. So I'm like, I don't know how this last episode is going to turn out. And didn't this, didn't Bella Ramsey say, this last episode is going to leave fans divided. Like a lot of people aren't going to like it. They're doing something very different and 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 off the wall and and not canon. It seems. Um. So I don't. I I just don't. I just don't know. Once again, I've said this so many times. This show needed twelve episodes because they are cutting out a lot of stuff and they are rushing a lot of stuff. I I know I sound like a like a broken you know record. But I'm sorry. I got to keep saying it. Um, so this episode was David and the Cannibals, right? So it starts out with David talking to his group of cannibals. And by the way, you know, I, I, they, a lot of these people don't know they're cannibals. So it's a little bit unfair to just label them cannibals. But if you're eating other people, even unknowingly, I guess you're still, I guess you're still labeled a cannibal, but whatever. And um, David is like kind of very much a cult leader um, in this in this version of him, he's kind of like a like a like a zealot. He was always this like creepy but calm uh, guy, and and the guy who plays David in the show is is great. He might be he might be the second best actor in this show, um, behind the 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 uh, the guys that played Sam and Henry, right? Specifically Henry. He might he might be right, you know, behind the guy who who played Henry, or just at the at the same level um, as him, because they are they are great actors. He per portrayed I, David perfectly, uh, in, in my opinion. Um, so he's very much like a cult leader, a little bit of an extremist, a little bit of a zealot. Uh, he's leading the, these people um, and just, you know, preaching to them because he became like a preacher. He was originally a teacher, but he became a preacher um, and, and, uh, and a believer after the pandemic, he says, as we learn later. So. The reason why he's given us like sermon is because some of their people have died and this little girl lost her father and she's asking, uh, you know, when can when can they bury her, bury her father? And David tells her that the ground is too cold to dig. But we know that's not the case. We know they eat that motherfucker. That nigga is lunch, dinner, and he might make it to breakfast. We know that's really the case because they've been eating people. OK, so Troy Baker who we know as Joel in the game, who, you know, plays Joel in the game, um, is James in, in, in the show, um, which is kind of funny because of what happens later on. You know, that, that's, that's very funny. It's like alternate, alternate dimension, alternate universe type shit. Um, so, yeah, Troy Baker plays James. So Joel uh, is still being taken care of by Ellie, you know, because uh, so, he's still suffering from that wound he got in the episode prior. So they need food. Um, Ellie goes goes hunting and she finds elk or deer. I don't even know. I don't know how to tell elk or deer like apart. I don't know the difference. I'm not a country bumpkin. I've never, you know, been out in the forest or the woods. I don't know the difference. It's one of those damn things. If I had to assume, it looks like a deer, I guess. Um, so Ellie shoots the deer, uh, you know, runs into James and David because they're also hunting because they're running low on food, even though they be eating people. and. You know, Ellie, does, you know, it, they, they stay pretty, they stick pretty close to the game. Um, 
as far as like the the dialogue and what and and the go- negotiation, like Ellie negotiates with him that she needs pe- penicillin, right? You give me the penicillin, you can keep half this dare. You know, every everybody walks away happy, but James has to go get the penicillin. David demands him, and David has this like very like. He calls himself like the father of these people and he looks at himself as the good guy and the savior. Got a little bit of a God complex and he has that that very serious demeanor. Like when I speak, you listen, nigga. Um, so he got, he's got that that type of demeanor about him. He speaks very softly, but very sternly and like, yeah, um, he, he's he's the dude that'll like hug you and 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 like also stab you at the same time, you know, and. And, and and claim he'll probably do it out of love or something like that. But, yeah, so while they're waiting for James to come back with the medicine, you know, which Joel, which uh, Ellie wants for Joel, of course, you know, they get a little bit into David's background. Uh, they don't do that this much of much of that in the game. So they they they, uh, you know, um, expand uh, da- uh, David's story or his exposition um, just a little bit, just a little bit more. Um, and he's just creepy and calm, and he's got that kind of like shaky voice, that that very you know that Chester molester type of vibe, which is uh, which is pretty much uh, what he is. Um, and, da- and and David tells Ellie the story while they're waiting for James to come back. You know they're sitting around the fire, and this is one of the just this is one of the best moments in the game to me, um, because it's just like an oh oh shit moment. Uh, and, and, and the way that it's just delivered and, and, and the way, you know, David speaks, it's, it's just one of those really, uh, great narrative moments, uh, him telling Ellie the story about how he sent some people, you know, um, to look for some supplies or food or whatever. And then, um, and then they get killed and then, uh, you know, he, the, the person who, the man who kills them was running around with a little girl. And Ellie is obviously that little girl that he's telling the story about uh, because there's not a lot of whole, there's not too many dudes running around with a little child. So David knows exactly, you know, who, who she was. Um, and, you know, that she was bluffing Ellie, talking about she's from a bigger group. She, he, he knew she was bluffing. There's, there's no way, first of all, if you were in a bigger group, they're not sending somebody out especially a little girl out by themselves to hunt alone. Like they would at least travel in a pair. So he knows he, he, he been though. She's full of shit. Um, so yeah, then Ellie goes back, you know, um, and you know, cause James comes behind her, but you know, uh, David just tells James, no, I give it to penicillin and let her go because they're going to track, they're going to track her anyway. That's part of his plan to track, her back to Joel and, and find where they're hiding out and everything. So Ellie goes back, injects the penicillin directly into the wound. I'm not even sure if that, that's how you're supposed to do it. I have, uh, I don't know. Every, I, in every show or movie I've seen where they've injected like penicillin or anything like that, it's never directly into the wound. So I don't think you're supposed to do it that way. But of course, Ellie doesn't know any better. But may, maybe you are supposed to j- inject it in, in, into the wound. Maybe all those other movies and TV shows were wrong. I have no idea. Um, but I've never seen it done that way, but I'm like, eh, I don't, I don't know if it affects the, the, uh, it impacts the, the effectiveness of the medicine, depending on if you directly, di- if you insert it directly there or near it, I would just, I would have just injected it near it, not directly in it. But I have like I said, I have no idea. Somebody probably knows better than me. Y'all let me know. Um, so back at the resort, you know, it's lunchtime and people are on the menu, of course. <laughs> as you know that's that's how they that's how they get down and they're lying to the people telling them that it's venison you know deer meat um and david tells them that yeah they did track the girl and 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 the man who who killed some people from their group and the little girl's the little girl the the, the, the daughter of the of the man who joel killed said uh yeah you should kill him you sh- you should kill both of them and uh, David, you know, he's the leader. He's the boss. He's the father. He bitch smacks her. Says, listen, I'm in charge here. You don't tell me what to do, do, little girl. Your actual father may have died, but I'm your daddy now. I'm your daddy. So, you know, he, he, gotta, he keeps, his, keeps his people in check. Um, he's the very calm, menacing type, as I said. 
so David and his men go back and track Ellie um, all the way back to, you know, where they're hiding out. And she knows um, Joel is still recovering, so she has to lead uh, them away, lead them away to keep Joel safe. Um, this plays out, this plays out, you know, a little bit different than it does in the game, of course, but it doesn't play out like in, in, a, in a worse way. It's completely fine the way they did it. She tries to lead them away. Um, she gets, she gets, uh, the, the horse that she's on gets shot. <laughs> they don't get very far in the game. You know, you get, uh, you fall down that little cliff and you get to the, you, 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 you're in the resort and you're making it past all these, uh, these dudes. But yeah, that's, that, that stuff is mainly for gameplay. There's no like really na narrative or story that that whole part is necessary for. But once again, there are they got to realize that like some of these gameplay segments help the pacing. And being that they're not like in the in the show, it's 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 it. The pacing does seem messed up because of that. And once again, feels rushed because we didn't even get that 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 infected scene, like the defensive uh, in, in, in infected scene where um, Ellie and David have to. Uh, you know, have to kill all the infected because they're they're storming that little shed that they're in. So we don't even get that at all, which I actually thought. Because it does lend to the story and the narrative, the fact that, OK, you don't, they don't trust each other, um, but they have to team up to survive at that point. And then later on, Ellie and, and David, you know, are obviously at, at odds and, you know, they're. Elliot ends up killing him. So that whole dynamic lends to what happens later. So I some some of these gameplay parts are important, but we don't we don't get none of that. There wasn't not one infected in this episode. I feel like listen. There's 9 episodes and if and it doesn't even seem like there's going to be any infected in the next episode really. Because yeah, there's there's infected when you're going uh when you go in and go through that tunnel to get to the hospital but i it doesn't even seem like that's exactly going to happen in, in that 40 minutes i don't i don't i don't know but i i feel like there's been what three out of there might be three out of nine episodes where there's infected three out of nine maybe four out of nine which is like yeah i get the i i, I get the whole Oh, you know, the game is not about the infected. It's not a zombie show. Okay, bro. But they are they are what makes this world what it is. So it's like the fact that we get so so little little of the infected appearances is like, bruh, come on now. Come on. Uh, but anyway, where was I? Um so yeah. James shoots Ellie's horse. She falls off. Uh she he they want to kill Ellie because you know. What do they want to bring her back for, right? Just another mouth to feed. David stops them, tells them to go, go find Joel. Of course, uh, Ellie did leave that knife with Joel to defend himself. Told him like, if it, anybody comes down here, defend yourself, and puts and pushes that shelf in front of the door. Uh, so Joel has recovered enough to get up, and when this guy comes into the basement, stabs him. And this is probably this is the level of violence that we've been asking for. Like this was this this kill to the you know to the neck was just very violent. It was very vicious, gruesome, intimate. Like just just the seeing the look on the guy's face, eyes open. That's the level of violence that this show should be showing all the time. But no, they want to do cutaways, and it's like and and what what Neil and and Craig Mazin said before the show even started is they toned down the violence so that. When the violence does happen, it's more poignant. It hits harder. But you still hardly ever do it. That's, that's, we would be okay with that if you actually did, you know, had enough violent encounters. But it's like, okay, you toned it down so that the, the violence hits, hits harder when you actually do it. But you, you hardly ever actually do it. It doesn't happen. Damn near, doesn't, damn near does not happen. So what are we waiting for? What did you tone it back? To, you know, dial the violence back for if there's damn near no hardly ever any violence, bro. But whatever. But this this kill was great. Um, the shot for it, yeah. The, just seeing that, that that was a great kill. This is prob that that's probably Joel's 
best kill, and, and I'm talking about like as far as like gore and gru and how gruesome it is. Because yeah, that's what I want to see. So um, that's probably his best kill of the show as far as that factor goes. What's what's insane is Ellie has better kills in this show than Joel. That's insane. Not more kills, but better kills. And she gets them both in this episode. She gets them both in this episode. So, kills that guy, right? And they go back to the resort real quick. And, you know, David's talking to Ellie and all that stuff. Um, go back to the Joel interrogation scene. And to me, this, this scene is, doesn't hit nowhere as hard as the game. I'm sorry, it doesn't. It, the delivery was not on point. The atmosphere was, was not on point. Uh, the pacing of it was just off. Just the way, just the way and the cadence of and how he delivered the lines. No, no, nah, it didn't. It didn't do it for me. It, it wasn't menacing. It wasn't like this. Yo, I'm not playing with you. That's how he was in the game, bro. I'm not. I'm not playing with you. Like he was. He he didn't he didn't have to scream necessarily. He didn't have to you know yell. But he he showed them he was dead serious. He turned to to dark Joel. It was it was that dark Joel he turned turned into in, in the game, right? And this was just it was just mid. It was kind of like a mid performance. I'm like the, this is another scene from the game that they just didn't do nowhere as good as they did in the game. You don't got to do it exactly like the game, but it needs to hit as hard. And and like I said, part of the issue is they don't let the scenes just sit and linger and breathe. Let the scenes breathe. They just Go right through it. This is the line. This is the line. This is what you say. Get out of there. Let's go. And it was like, all right, brother. We didn't even get to. <sighs> but whatever. Um, that interrogation scenes happen. And you know, Joel, this is Joel's famous interrogation technique where you uh have one guy over there. He can't he can't really see what the other guy is doing. You ask this guy guy a question, and um, you know, it's it's a it's a it's a test. Um and and most likely you don't really need the second guy because the the first guy knows that you're going to ask the second guy. So the first guy is is most likely not going to lie. The the second guy is really just a prop to make sure the second guy you, the second guy is is mo mostly a, a prop up against the first guy to make sure he tells the truth. But you don't really need to ask the second guy uh, anything. You can, but you don't really need to. It's just uh, like in intimidation factor and. You leave that, you leave, kind of leave that hope that, okay, if we both tell the truth, he might actually let us live. He's not going to, of course, we know that, but that's, you know, the whole, the whole technique. And, um, you know, it's used, it's used, I think, what is, Ellie uses it in part two, I think, and, and Tommy uses it in part two, I think Ellie did too, right? Um, so yeah, interrogation scene happens, um, Flashback to Ellie in the cage at the resort. She sees an air on the floor, and that's when she realized that they're eating people. She de she definitely not going to eat the food that um, David gave her. Um, and David admits only a few people know that they're that they're that they've been eating people. But it's it, you know you know what's crazy. I thought about it. Not saying if I was in the situation, I would do the same thing. But I don't necessarily. David's a creep. All that other stuff he on that little pedophilia stuff he on trying to make Ellie his little. Uh, his little underage bride and all that stuff that stuff's weird but as far as like them eating people for survival i don't think that necessarily makes you a an evil person by itself in that situation i've you know i've heard some i've watched some documentaries and heard some stories and stuff about some people that kind of had no choice when they were stranded and you know their friend might have died and Hey man, I gotta survive, you know. So I don't necessarily think that makes you a bad person. I don't know if I would I would be able to bring myself to do it, but I don't think that makes them a bad person necessarily. In the I think in I feel like in the game, they kind of made it seem like David like just did it for sport almost, like he really enjoyed eating people. When this the the show made it seem more like it's it's for absolute survival. Um, for him and his people. So, yeah, I'm, I just, I, I like the way they handled it. I like the way they handled that. 
Um, David tries to convince Ellie to join him and be his little young bride. Um, you know, Ellie, she, he, want, he wants her to be his little young bride, you know, a partner, a friend, as he described it. Like, who wants a little girl as a friend? You're weird. You're a creep. We know that. Ellie plays possum, you know, tries to trick David and, and get his keys. He, she breaks his fingers. He grabs her, pulls her, pulls her head into the, the, the you know, the, the cell bars. Uh, probably going to make her head, her forehead way bigger now. That, that, that forehead going to be swollen. Going to look, going to be looking like, going to be looking like the crimson chin, except for her forehead. Going to be the crimson forehead. Um, so now David's pissed off. Okay, we're going to chop this child up and we're going to have some, we're going to have some uh, little girl, uh, you know, later on for, for lunch, apparently. So Joel, you know, we, we cut back to Joel. He stumbles upon the resort and is he's seeing the dead bodies and all that stuff. They're storing dead bodies in, in the freezer and all that. Um, Ellie, so and now back to Ellie. Ellie bites, bites. Uh, this is a, this, this kind of shows like how smart Ellie is. And this is very quick thinking. Of course, you know, um, um, Ellie bites David um, and they're about to chop her into little pieces. Her and James are holding Ellie down. Uh, him and James are ho- holding Ellie down, about to chop her up into little, little tiny pieces. And she tells them that she's infected. Right. And of course, they don't want any infected meat. And she just bit David. So they would also be worried about that. Um, but of course. And and this is one of the ways that you know Ellie is able to use her um, her immunity, but and her bite mark to her advantage, um, because as far of course they don't know that she's immune, and she can always tell somebody that she's she's infected. So this actually actually benefits her um, in this situation because it gives them pause, and it also serves as a, as a distraction, so she can grab the meat cleaver and just put it right. In James' neck, and uh, he's dead and slowly leaking out from his carotid, and um, so Ellie essentially kills Joel, which is which is kind of kind of funny, um, you know, in in this show, Ellie Ellie killing Joel. That's that's uh, definitely funny. Some alternate universe type shit, and uh, yeah, this this kill was gruesome. It was it was very you know vicious. Also, great kill, love it. Bloody, you know, gory, love it. Uh, so she runs off after killing James. You know, um, David pops a few shots, misses, of course. And then, so, you know, goodbye to Troy Baker. He's gone. Then we get to the diner, you know, the, the big scene, of course, where, um, where, where we play hide and seek, essentially, uh, with David. This, this, this is probably, this is honestly, if we, not a great part of the game. It was kind of dumb just walking in. Going around in circles and uh, just from a gameplay standpoint, this part wasn't great. Um, just going in circles, hiding from David and trying to stab him in the back. Very rudimentary um, gameplay segment. But, you know, David's being a creep. He's talking, you know, Ellie throws this little uh, torch, essentially. You know, that's that's what actually starts the fire. Um, in the show, at least, starts the, you know, the fire uh, of, of the diner. Uh, James, excuse me, um, David gets on top of Ellie, ta- is, is wi- whispering very, very disturbing things <laughs> in, in her ear, uh, talking about he, he loves when they fight back, you know, so, so he's out in himself as a, a pedophile, a rapist, a molester, or a cannibal, like, bro, David, pick a, pick a struggle, bro, P- pick, pick a goddamn vice, David, you can't be, you can't be all of that. You even smacking little girls and, you know, and doing all this during Women's History Month. David, pick a, p- please pick a vice because you cannot be all of this. You can't be you, like if you're going to be a piece of shit, be a piece of shit in, in, in one dimension. Not all of that stuff. Come on, bro. Have some composure. Act like you got some decorum around here. Act like you got some home, some freaking home training. What is wrong with this guy? Pick one. But we all know what happens. Ellie, you know, gets her hand on the cleaver, starts hacking at David and chopping him up goes crazy, goes berserk, just wilds out on him. Um I would actually love to see what what David looks like after that. After she um just chops him up like 30 times. 
but the game the game doesn't doesn't show that and and um this show doesn't show that of course this is so this was technically another off screen kill but the but the game it's technically off screen in the game too so that's why I'm not like giving the show too much too much shit for being off screen because it was technically off off screen in the game too but that was the episode I think it's a good episode um once again if this I I do think I wish certain scenes had more uh more time to breathe I wish I wish this first um season was like 12 episodes but I do think I, I you know I'm I'm pretty confident and I I think I have a lot of confidence in in part two, because the show is obviously a success. So I think part two, they're going to, it's going to be, part two is going to be two seasons. It's definitely going to be two seasons. So I think they're going to have um, a, a bigger budget, even though the, the show, of the, the budget of this show was pretty big. I think they're going to have a bigger budget. They're going to have more episodes and things are going to be more fleshed out in season two. So yeah, I think the future, I, I think the future of, of the next season is, you know, is better. It's going to be better. So yeah, that's, that's episode, um, eight. I, you know, I would give this episode, I would give episode eight and eight and eight out of 10. I think it was, uh, it was good. So next week, final episode, been an interesting ride. So Leah, let me know what y'all think about this episode. Um, I'll catch y'all on the next video, catch y'all next week in the last review. And hit the notification bell so, you know, you could join Notification Gang. Follow me on Twitter. Hit the like button, all that good stuff. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.